All right, brothers and sisters, it looks like I keep running out of storage, so this is the second half to the one I created right before it. Uh, we're going to call it a sequel at this point, um, but like I said, uh, with the previous video that's attached to this, I'm going to have to name that part one so that we can finish this. Um, when you give something to God, one of the things about giving it to God is actually giving it to him. Not giving it to him and then thinking we still got to do something. Okay, when we give it over to God, we're trusting God that he heard us. We're trusting God that he's going to move on it. And when we decree and declare, we're also trusting and believing that, just like he said, we speak a thing right into existence. Okay, because of the fact I know this video is going to run out quick, because once again, I'm using different devices and uh, they're kind of doing their own thing, running out of story. So I'm learning that too. Um, but one of the things that was on me right now is you have to remember that you got a lot of people as they come into this awakening. Some people are just going pure negative. I, and when I say negative, um, they just talk a lot of hatred. And hatred brings with it a lot of darkness. Okay, a lot of anger, a lot of evil, and yes, understand, God will not be mocked. People do evil, they're going to reap what they've sown. But you're not always the agent to execute that reaping and that sowing. You can also sow positive seeds and reap good things. Um, and let God be the one, the agent of revenge. You got a lot of people out here talking negativity. Here's the irony to that. They're not just speaking negativity about the other nations. They're speaking negativity about the people within the nation. And we're supposed to be supporting one another. Um, so like I said, these different things that you need, you decree and declare it. God gave you the power and the authority to decree and declare through your faith, okay, and through prayer, okay? You pray for that thing. And remember, get it in the mind's eye. Get it in your mind, Um as a person believes, so shall they be. So when you put that vision inside your mind's eye of something that you want, you start conducting yourself as though you already have it. The only difference between you getting the attainment, and we're not talking about something evil. God's not going to give you nothing evil. So if you try to do some work that belongs to darkness and the enemy, uh, this ain't for you. And um, this is for those who you're trying to bring about a better circumstance for yourself, for your people. Um, when you get that positive image in your head, start living like it's already happened. Don't look at it like, please, 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 like you're always begging, okay? And I'm not meaning that in a negative way, but what I am is, um, doubting is a spirit. There's a spirit to doubting. Doubting has a spirit to it. And it's insulting when you get the doubting and you get in front of God as though, well, maybe you can do it. Maybe you'll do it. No. Once you trust God and you believe him and you believe he received your prayer, okay, then you leave it there. You leave it there. And if you got an enemy somewhere, you can pray for their removal. Oh, yes, you can. I didn't say their harm. Whatever God chooses to do with them, whether he removes them and takes them home to glory or he just moves them to another address, that's up to the most high. But what you can do, believe and receive, decree and declare, and you're going to watch the power of God work. I was praying and praying, decreeing and declaring about a co-worker who uh, literally just became a nightmare. And it got to the point that when my spirit got tired, I was like, okay, God, I got to get this to you. I, I'll be honest. At one point, I actually questioned, are you listening to me? Am I praying amiss? What am I doing wrong? I kind of got desperate. But I talked to God because God's my friend. I, talk, I, I speak his word back to him. You should ask and believe. You shall receive. Seek and you shall find. I'm seeking your face. Okay, the Lord says, seek me while you, I, you, you may find me. Draw nigh to me and I shall draw nigh unto you. So I drew nigh. And I could feel the spirit of the Most High. Okay, I'm not talking about instant putting prayer because God's not an instant putting God like that where you deal with him like a dismissive friend. We're talking about the most high God, okay? Um, you get quiet. Let your spirit get quiet and you talk to God. He's the best friend.
you are ever going to have. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, who speaks his word, and he can only speak those things that he hears and sees from the Father. Okay, and you bring down that Holy Spirit, the Comforter. God will give it to you. It's His delight to give to His children. Um, but like I say, once you give it to God, no, God has it, and start celebrating that feeling. Start living that feeling. Even remember, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things yet to be seen. Uh, but you decree and declare, and God will remove that enemy. Okay, he will turn that situation around. I remember when I let it go, and to be quite honest, at the time, I was like, I don't know, God, I just don't see anything. I've been praying and praying and asking and asking, then I let it go. Next thing I know, I go back to work, and this particular individual was talking about how they couldn't stand being there no more. Something was bothering them on the inside, and they just wanted to get out of there and get another job. Unbeknownst to them, I was praying in the OT category for their removal because they were such a negative personality. And eventually, they did just that. Go get another job. They did just that, and it wasn't that long. But when I heard the words come out of their mouth because I, I let it go, I gave it to God, but I was kind of depressed about the fact I didn't see anything. I, I couldn't tell if anything was changing. And then I was just walking around one day, and they were like, you don't, they hadn't been to work, they got to work late, they were kind of antsy, only to find out they were looking for another job. So when you give it to God, trust and believe, okay? Be encouraged, de decree and declare, believe and receive. And if you have an enemy, God will remove that enemy. He will remove them. You can pray for the removal, okay? And at the same time, I pray that you be blessed, that he raised your spirit so that you can hear the, the voice of the spirit. I pray that your mind is saturated with the word of God and he overwhelms your heart with good things, okay? So that you can walk and speak and think in the spirit and encourage one another, not just, this isn't just for you, this is for me too. Remember, the, the word of the Lord is a two-edged spirit. Anything I say that way comes back this way. Um, I would appreciate some encouragement, so anything positive you can say to me, I'm here. I'm receptive, brothers and sisters. You be blessed. Shalom.